Oh, no. Not what I meant. This is a little modified, but I feel like if we try to go higher here and fail, I think we're going to get a little bit of a pullback. Hopefully we don't get faked out. Tried. Like we got faked out. Maybe? Hmm? Oh, come on, man. It looks like it went through my order. Okay. It, it, it looked like the wick was through my order. I'm a little annoyed by that, to be honest. And part of me wants to try to get back in the other way now. Gotta stay above here, though. Because looking left. Such a far stop, though. Such a far stop. I'm going to be so pissed here in a second. Again! Again! What is this? You got to be fucking with me. Yeah, we're going to pay the price on this one. Guys, like, give me a fucking break. 891. It literally went to 891. We just didn't get filled. What a fucking joke. Should have just hit the flatten button. Hopefully we get lucky here. I'm not feeling lucky, I'll tell you that. Drag it. I'll take it. I'll take the luck. What a joke, man. Literally to the tick. It looks like I want to go down a little further. I kind of like this trade. It's the bottom of this candle. 862.75. We're sitting at 861. Yeah, I like that. This is a continuation play. It's the same as earlier when I said we were going to come back when we were going to try lower. I would expect if we break it and actually push, we're going to just push. At least to try the lows. I don't think we're just going to fake out here. That one, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That last little push to get us in and then just rip it higher? Fuck me. Fuck me. Wow, fuck me. I was going to try to put the stop in, but I wanted to make sure. Maybe come down, just give us a chance to get out here. Talk about getting faked the F out. That was a for science trade. 
pretty much to a T, but I was, ex I, I was expecting the way the price action was going for us to move lower there. Gave, gave that extra push just to get us in, just to rip it higher. Yeah, I'm not feeling this one at all. Feels like it's just going to try to base again. Yep. Oh, that sucks. We're going to be red on the day now. Oh, stop in a decent place. Maybe a fake out that way now. Now that would be lucky. I'm going to go get a drink. I got my stop. I'm going to take profit in. Hopefully we get the right fill. Surprised we didn't get filled one way or the other. Although, yeah, I was going to say. Oh, that sucks. Just like that. Go, baby. Go, baby. Just gonna take it. Fuck it. Look at that. That was pretty good. It worked. That was such a big candle. I didn't want to like try to let it keep going. I should have. Because then if it shoots all the way back up and I try to use previous candle or break even, I'm, I'm losing out on all that money. The money, honey. That's a, yeah. Looking for it to come back down and retest before trying higher. It's like that, like that. I had my stop right here, so don't think I got in without a stop. You could clearly feel the price action trying to stall there. It's looking for the retest of that previous resistance it just broke through, and then it can do whatever it wants. That's all I was looking for. Had a clear stop just in case. That's that's my goal. Like, I feel like some trades are okay to take if I feel like I am getting a good read on the price action as long as I have a stop. I can't get into a trade without having a stop when I'm dog sparking. All right, traders, a decent day in the P&L column, as you saw. However, we didn't get there exactly how we wanted to get there. I'm just going to kind of do a quick recap these trades here, the first two were perfectly fine. That's exactly what we're looking for, as well as the one that we took with two contracts, which I'm going to tell you why we took two contracts. You didn't hear it unless you were live with us this morning. I noticed that my account is going to auto rebuild on the 28th. I think it was, maybe it was the 27th. It's whatever Wednesday is. Let me take a quick look. It is the 27th. So I was like, uh, I'd rather just kind of push it, see if I can pass by then instead of having to rebuild for the same eval. And we'll go from there. But I, I kind of wimped out even after that. But that was because I wasn't taking the normal trade, which I could have had we waited a little bit. But I was watching this happen. It broke out. It pretty pretty clearly uh, stalled out. So we ended up taking that trade, but we only used one contract just to be safe. And I had a clear stop out. And that's not the point. But was still just I, I haven't taken those types of trades in a while. And I you know wasn't sure if I should trust my read on what the price action was doing, especially because earlier I got a little bit faked out predicting instead of reacting. And that was the big takeaway from today. All of my other trades, which I did actually take one off when I was editing or take a trade while I was editing this video. Uh, while I was editing the video, I was making this big push down. And I thought about jumping in a couple times, but I was waiting to see what it did when it broke this area, if it broke this area. It did, it based out, tried to go up, failed, came back down. And I told myself, if we don't break the low here, 
we're going to probably try to go higher because it wants to try to get back up in that range. So I took that trade based off of that idea. We ended up getting the quick trade. I only took 10 ticks instead of 15 because I was just trying to get in and out. Had the clear stop underneath the lows and it worked out. So that added to the point value a little bit. But what it comes back to, one, two, three, four, five. Five winning trades, all the right types of trades. This one maybe probably shouldn't have taken, probably should have waited for this move, but then I probably wouldn't have taken it to be honest because looking left, it was right at the resistance area. So not exactly sure if I would have taken that or not, but it would have worked. So either here nor there, this was a reaction trade, no matter how you want to look at it. This trade was a prediction trade, right? I said, okay, I'm reading the price action. It feels like it wants to go lower. I'm going to put an order out, assuming we're going to retry the lows. And as you can see, that did not play out well. So moving forward, I have to stay away from those trades. I say it all the time. I am a good reactionary trader. I am not good at assuming where the market's going to go. No one knows where the market's going to go. So why should I try to be the one that assumes where it's going to go? So that's all I got today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Always appreciate that support. I've noticed the views are upticking. Subs are upticking. Uh, more people are on the live stream. Let's keep it going. I appreciate all the support. If you do have any questions or comments or concerns, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. You can find me on Discord or over on Twitter. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.